Hey, Tech Rally, it was really great talking to you, and we would love to move forward with your application. Please take this coding challenge and return it whenever you finish. Thank you. Pause. Does this feel familiar to you? If so, stop it. Get some help. Hey, developers, today I want to talk about the copy and paste developer and why you shouldn't be doing that during a coding bootcamp school. The copy and paste method, I'm sure we've all been there before, and it's a pretty common issue. As developers, I get it. We use Google and Stack Overflow to solve our problems, but what I never really understood is the idea of copy and pasting code. A few times I got a few glances during my coding bootcamp school when I saw a solution and instead of just copying the code, I would literally write it line by line and continue writing the code until I understood it. Some of my friends and colleagues would ask like, hey, why don't you just copy the code and just paste it? Or like, why are you writing these meaningless import statements? If anything, they thought I was kind of slow by just writing out the code myself. But for me, that's just how I learned. And, and to a certain extent, copying and pasting has never really helped me become a better developer when I run into that same issue. What I mean by that is I never was able to retain any information by just copying and pasting. Let me give you an example. I consider myself a very, very bad regex developer. And whenever I need to use regex to do certain actions, what I do is I go on google.com, I find a stack overflow answer, and then I literally copy and paste specific to what criteria I'm looking for. Does this make me a better regex developer? No, it actually does not. I've been coding for about five years now and regex is still a really big weakness of mine and I acknowledge that. And unless I actually take the time to really try to understand it fully rather than just copying and pasting, I'm never gonna be a good regex developer. And that's just something that I need to acknowledge within myself. And that's okay for me because I specifically know I don't use regex that often and this is not something that maybe it's not pertinent to me to what I do on an everyday basis. But if you find yourself as a beginner copying and pasting code as the first thing that you do when you're writing code and learning code and things like that, this could be a major problem for your coding journey. I've heard other YouTubers call it like pattern matching. But like I said, if the majority of your coding session at a bootcamp revolves around you looking at someone else's code, then you're definitely doing it wrong. First, you're only hurting yourself. Finishing a coding bootcamp school doesn't guarantee you a job and finishing each module through any means necessary doesn't guarantee you a job either. There's no point in finishing these modules without truly understanding it because it doesn't really help you in the long run. I'll give you an example and story of why my mechanical engineering degree was useless to me. And I'm not saying all mechanical engineering degrees are useless. Just the way I approached it was not very smart and all I cared about in college were the grades. And I was a very good test taker, I do admit. During midterms and finals, what I would do is I would just cram all my information that I needed to know to pass the class or get an A. And once I did that, I pretty much forgot everything I learned. And overall, I ended up with a pretty decent GPA, graduated with a mechanical engineering degree, and was ready to land that first job. Little did I know, I did not know anything. And when I interviewed for my first job, this dude gave me a packet of problems to solve. There were about 100 questions. and he gave me about an hour to try to solve as much as I can. He said, yeah, if you could just solve maybe like 30 to 40 of them, then that would be pretty good. I could only solve 10 confidently and then the other 90, I was pretty much in shock of how much I didn't know. And that's when I came to the realization that, wow, I did not learn anything in college. If anything, all I did was try to solve the assignments really quickly and take the test and move on to the next class. But I did not bother to really try to understand the material that I was learning. Uh, all I cared about was my college experience and the mechanical engineering degree was kind of secondary. Going back to the bootcamp, you have to ask yourself, why are you attending? Bootcamps don't give you a diploma. They don't even technically give you a grade. So what's the point of copying and pasting just to get to that next curriculum? 
it's better to slow down and learn the material than just blazing through these modules without really understanding the material. Learning how to code is definitely not a race and it's a marathon. Even to this day, five years as a developer, I still consider myself learning as a developer. So don't try to speed through these modules, graduate, and then hope that you find a job. Make sure you actually understand the material that you're learning. That way you are more equipped to land that first job. I get that boot camps are very fast and sometimes it's hard to keep up, but you need to find other ways to speed yourself up, whether that be more learning on the side, asking for help, getting one-on-one -on -one tutoring, whatever you can to get yourself up to speed, it's better to do it that way than just copying and pasting someone else's code and hoping that, okay, I'll just figure this out later. If you really can't solve it, that's when you go to the Google, to the Stack Overflow, or even ask your friends for the solutions. And even then, I would highly discourage you from just copying and pasting the code, but rather look at the person's code, type it yourself and see if you actually understand what you're typing as opposed to just, okay, like this person wrote it this way, I'm just gonna copy it then. This doesn't benefit you in any way if you just copy and paste. So try to make this experience more of a learning experience for you rather than just finishing an assignment. I really encourage you to pause and think about your code sometimes because if you copy and paste the majority of your time at a coding bootcamp school, by the time you get to your projects and interview, I can assure you that you're gonna fail and fail pretty hard. The problem with copying and pasting is that you're removing the thinking process. When you work on your projects or when you're going through that interview process, you're pushing your problem solving abilities to its limits. If your threshold for critical thinking is so low that your first intuition is always to copy and paste, that's not gonna be good for you. And it's going to be super tough for you for, during those interviews because the only thing that you're used to doing is looking at someone else's code as a developer, it's not about how we analyze someone else's code. It's about how you come up with these ideas to solve real world problems. I don't want to hire a developer if their first intuition is to just look at someone else's code. I want them to think about it, come up with a solution. And yeah, it may be wrong, but at least you came up with that idea. And then we can figure out what the next steps are. A technique I like to use to avoid copying and pasting in general is to ask yourself like why am I writing the code that I am I internalized myself and reasoned with myself why I'm writing the code that I am I tend to use words like I expect XYZ to happen because I put this line of code right here or I don't think this is gonna work but I'm gonna put a console log here and I'm just curious to see what that output is and I challenge myself and validate my theory on what my expectations are when I write code the way that I do going to a boot camp and finishing the curriculum without actually taking time to learn the material is going to be a huge detriment to your coding journey. If your first instinct is to just copy and paste, it's going to be obvious to employers during the interview process that you really don't know what you're doing. It's a real shame because $15,000 and three months is a huge financial and time commitment. Like I said before, you technically don't get graded at a coding bootcamp school. So what's the point of cheating and copying someone else's code without really understanding the material? You're only hurting yourself because when you go to that interview process, you are not gonna be fully equipped to land that first developer job. So instead of trying to just copy and paste someone else's code, it's better to do some critical thinking and try to figure it out on your own. Yes, if you have a different pace compared to everybody else, you have to figure out ways to make sure that you understand the material that you're learning. I hope that this encourages anyone that's considering a bootcamp school or attending one right now to change their approach to learning if they fall into this trap. If you like content like this, hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.